You are spending your money wrong. I'm just kidding, but in this video, I'm going to be sharing some money mistakes that I've made and why I think you may be making the same mistakes too. But first, let's see where we're currently at. News and facts about current events. Housing is becoming less affordable. The median house price where I live in Sydney, Australia is $1.31 million, which is 14 times the average full-time income. But back in 1981, a house in Sydney cost $78,000, which was only five times the average full-time income. Groceries are also becoming more expensive. Although sometimes you may not notice food inflation because of something called shrinkflation. They're on to us, food costs and production costs are rising, but we can't just keep on bumping up the prices because our customers will notice. So what do we do? Maybe we could make smaller packages. What about more air in the chip packets? I like it and I like it. And here is an example of shrinkflation when it comes to Maltesers. Everybody's favorite movie snack, am I right? As we can see on one of the packets there are 12 pieces, but on the other packet there are only 11 pieces. This is probably something you wouldn't have noticed. I certainly wouldn't. And here is another example with toilet paper rolls. As we can see the roll of toilet paper is slightly smaller. And do you remember Toblerones? Well, did you know that they're not actually a triangle anymore? They're actually a trapezoid. I'm just kidding, that one's definitely false, but there have been some allegations that Toblerones have gotten smaller over the years, and sometimes the gap between the Toblerone chocolates has gotten bigger. So because of these factors, we need to be smarter about the ways that we spend our money so that we can ensure that we're getting value from it. Now I'm going to explain how I used to spend money versus how I spend money now and how it's changed throughout the years. Mistake number one, expensive doesn't always equal better. When I moved out of home at 19, I was only earning $400 a week from a part-time unpaid internship and a part-time telemarketing role. In the expensive city that I live in, $400 was really only enough to cover my basic necessities like food, rent, utilities, and my bills. And even then, it was only just enough to cover if that. Since Pablo and I weren't earning very much money, we had to make the most of what we had so that we could afford to survive. We started shopping at Aldi to save money. We bought unbranded food. I actually recently did a taste test on Instagram where I compared home brand food versus branded food. And in most of the situations, I actually preferred the home branded food more. Oh man, I really can't tell him. Oh my God. Sure. I had no idea. That's wild. This one actually tastes better. I preferred the Aldi Tim Tams over the original Tim Tams, which I was honestly shocked about. To be honest, after doing this blind taste test, I felt like I was a failed Australian. So I did the exact same blind taste test on some of my friends and they also preferred the Aldi version. So maybe it's not just me. So I highly recommend giving home branded foods a try to see if you actually prefer it. So you can potentially save a bit of money on your grocery bill. We didn't live in an expensive area. We took public transport or we walked wherever we could. We cooked our food at home and we brought it to work to save money. And we tried to eat all of our food so that we could cut down on food waste. I know I've been eating the same meal for a few days now, but no waste. Mistake number two, not making the journey to financial independence enjoyable. Fast forward a few years and Pablo and I both had stable jobs and were earning more money. Maybe you can do like a yay. <laughs> So we were able to save for short-term goals like holidays and we could go out to restaurants and dinners with our friends without worrying about money as much as before. Since we were earning more money, we could be more savvy with our spending by investing a little bit more into household items and food by buying in bulk so that we could save more money over the long term. We also started spending a bit more money on things like plants and artwork to make our home nicer. But saving money was still very important to us so we looked at buying things secondhand or buying things on sale and using free cashback websites like cash rewards and shop back and by the way if you would like to check them out for yourself i have some referral links below where we can both get some free money mistake number three 
having a short-term mindset. After a few years, we started to have a bit more of a long-term mindset. We wanted to be able to own our own home one day and also be able to invest in better quality experiences like travel. But in order to do that, we needed to get more serious about our finances. So we started investing in our knowledge by reading personal finance books and also doing online courses so that we could upskill ourselves. And we also started to invest in better quality items that we use all the time. For example, our coffee machine. We initially bought a coffee machine from Gumtree, which was $100, but we hardly used it because the coffee didn't turn out great from this coffee machine. So after a few years, we decided that it was time for us to invest in a better quality coffee machine. At the time, it was $400 and I really wasn't sure if this investment would pay off for us and I can very happily say that it absolutely did. And we actually still use it today. We also started to invest in our health by getting a gym membership. And we started our journey to saving and investing so that we could eventually purchase a home. At the end of each month, Pablo and I would go through our credit card statements just to make sure that we weren't overspending each month. The funny thing was during this period, Pablo and I were actually spending a very similar amount every month. Ha! Huh. Pablo, I spent $13 less than you this month. Mistake number four, spending money to impress others rather than spending money on things you actually enjoy. After a few years of saving, Pablo and I were able to purchase our apartment in 2019. It wasn't our dream home, but it was good enough for us. And we knew we could renovate it once we had more money saved. Because our mortgage wasn't too much of a stretch for us, we were able to save up for our home renovations within the first year. And we were pretty much spending the same amount of money that we are on our current mortgage mortgage than what we were paying in rent. So we still have leftover money to save and invest, but we did have to sell our investments in order to purchase our properties. So as soon as we purchased this place, one of our priorities was building up our share portfolio again. We also started traveling to places that we really wanted to go without worrying too much about how much it will cost. And we also started to spend a bit more money on accommodation and experiences. But at the same time, Time, we knew that we didn't have an unlimited supply of money. So we knew we only wanted to spend money on things that we value rather than spending money on things just to impress other people. For example, we still drive a car that's actually 20 years old, even though it would look more impressive to other people for us to own a new car since we didn't really need one and ours was working just fine, we decided to just keep the same car so then we could also afford to have more experiences like travel and just more money to invest and enjoy our life more. Mistake number five, always playing it safe and not going after what you really want. We've been working for quite a few years at this point and we really started to think about what we actually wanted to do with our lives. And to be honest, at this point, we were a bit burnt out and we weren't really sure if we really wanted to keep on climbing that corporate ladder. We started to really sit down and think about what would make us happy long term. What would make me happy? Easy world domination. <laughs> so we decided to start a few businesses and side hustles on our journey to world domination. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but can you imagine? Pablo and I have always worked really well together because we really complement each other. Pablo is more analytical and he helps us get things done. Who cares about eating? Our subscribers are waiting for a new video, Queenie. But Pablo, we're already recording a new video for our subscribers. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you give this video a like, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Whereas I'm more creative and I want to strategize and think about the meaning of life and what we really want to achieve in life. But Pablo, have you thought about why we're even doing videos in the first place? And what is the meaning of life? I haven't thought about that. It's a nice balance because I can think about the big picture and help us imagine our goals. And Pablo helps us to analyze the situation and ensure that we actually achieve our goals. So when we started this YouTube channel, we weren't sure if it was actually going to work out. 
but we were both really interested in it and we wanted to give it a shot. And as we saw this YouTube channel start to get more traction, I quit my job and then a few months later, Pablo quit his job as well. Mistake number six, getting stuck in your routine rather than taking a step back and thinking about the big picture. Now that our money is mostly sorted, we want to start thinking about the big picture and how we can really enjoy our life and feel fulfilled. We don't want to live to work, we want to work to live. We want to have the time to enjoy our life and pursue the things that we really want to pursue in life and do all the things that we can only really fully enjoy while we're young. And we're at a stage in our life when we want to stop being afraid of looking foolish for pursuing our goals. Because as cheesy as it sounds, we want to pursue our goals and go after the things that we want in life rather than just let life happen to us. And we don't want to get to the end of our life and regret not pursuing the things that we really wanted to pursue in life. We are also rethinking and unlearning the things that we used to believe about work, money and success. Success to us isn't earning heaps of money. Success to us means being happy and feeling fulfilled. Conclusion. How we spent money at the beginning of our journey is so different to how we think about money now. And it will probably still be changing and evolving in the future as we learn more things and we grow more. But personally, I prefer to be a person that is learning and growing and improving than someone who is staying the same. For me, it's important to keep an open mind and learn how to adapt then stay in the same place. Pablo! Pablo's secret code! Yeah? <laughs> Wait! Secret code? It's cash. Cash money! Write us a comment below with the word cash in it just so we know who watched this video all the way through. Thank you. Bye!